Hit those local farmers markets. Support the local people. Why is the produce so horrible in a lot of stores? But there is an explanation to some of this that is going on. Also, you're going to be seeing same pictures. They're going to be popping up periodically throughout this video. They have been sent in from community members on this channel. Now, why are the stores out there seem to be running either low on food or like the produce sections and everything else I've noticed are not what they used to be. Some days are better than others, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff that just looks like it's old and they're putting it out. If you, if you, you sit there and you watch these people, they're, they're unboxing it and putting it out and it's like, that looks like it's been sitting around for a while. Well, here's one of the main issues that is taking place right now, okay? A lot of these big companies are having issues in getting the fresh product from when it is packed to get it to the stores that they need to get it to in a timely manner. They're having issues doing this. Now, the stores that sell just groceries are faring a little bit better than the stores that don't. The stores that sell, you know, if you want to go buy a hair dryer or if you want to buy a pair of jeans or any of this kind of stuff, those types of stores, they're competing with the drivers and they're moving all this merchandise around and everything else and they're shoveling it from one store to another store and vice versa and the food is not getting moved like it used to be. So it is setting around longer, whether it be in a refrigerated warehouse, whether it be on a trailer, we don't know, but it's not moving the way that it used to move. So this way here, when you went to the store, no matter what day it was, you noticed there was always, it looked fresh produce. Now we all know that you did walk through these areas. Sometimes you'd see, you know, some brown bananas or, you know, you might see a rotten potato in a bag or a bad onion in a bag or something like that. But in general, most of the time, everything looked pretty good, pretty fresh, and you felt pretty confident about buying those products. Nowadays, you walk into the store and you're thinking, you know, can and frozen isn't looking too bad, right? I mean, think about it, folks. You're looking at what's fresh on the shelves and the can and the frozen is much better than some of the products that they have out there on those fresh, quote, shelves that they've just unpacked. If you do have any types of local farmer's markets that you can go to and buy it fresh from a farmer, that would be your ideal way to go. You're going to pay a higher price anyways. So if you're buying it right from the source and it hasn't been moved from the source to a warehouse where it's set and then got loaded on a truck and maybe it's set a little bit longer and now it got moved to a store, here you go. Buy it from the source. Buy it from the farmer. And this way here, you're supporting him. You're supporting local. It's a win-win situation for everybody because you're getting the freshest produce you can possibly get because you're buying it right from the source. The best way would be if you can grow your own, but not everybody is able to do that. So if you can hit up a farmer's market in your local areas, and there's thousands of them across this country, help out a local farmer. Buy your products from them. Take the process out of the equation. Because if you've noticed, the store shelves are starting to run bare again. Why? They can't move the product fast enough. And some of these pictures here, you see a lot of the produce and stuff. Uh, you know, it's empty. If there's nothing there. They run out of milk. I mean, the whole nine yards. What, did the cows dry up? I don't think so. But you have to ask yourself this, folks. What are you going to do if all of a sudden there's nothing there? We don't know what is going to take place in the future. We know how to plan. 
We know how to be prepared. Buy them from the farmer. Go to your local farmer's markets. Support all your local farmers and everything else because without our farmers, we are indeed in a lot of trouble.